Greetings fellow men, servus Männer, it's Red Bull Germany again and today I want to talk about the allocation of resources in a group. So of course I also heard about Sweden's disaster with this feminist uh, snow clearing policy where the snow plows should uh, clear uh, like bike lanes and streets leading to daycare centers first that are frequented by children and women and uh, the main roads that um, are used by people, mostly men of course, going to work. Uh, would be cleared of the snow last. So a bunch of people have of course already uh, reported on that and given their opinion on that and probably I'm the last one but nevertheless I want to stress one aspect and this is that uh, this is just a symptom for a much deeper broader problem in our society. We can all mock uh, the Swedish people for their stupid behavior that it's so stupid what they did ha 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 but um, we have that problem in our countries too. It is everywhere in the western world and this is that we do not realize anymore. Many people have forgotten what parts of society are dependent on other parts. Different groups in society, different sectors can be seen like organs in a body and some of them are dependent on the function of others while others are not dependent on any of them more or less. So there is a clear hierarchy and you can draw it like a pyramid and this is why I show this pyramid. This will be the only picture I will show in this video because it's so damn important. The three economic sectors. The base would be agriculture, fishery and mining. The second one would be industry and construction and the top of the pyramid and this is not something good, okay? <laughs> the top of the pyramid is uh, the service industry and culture and all these things, right? And now you have to understand this pyramid in a way that um, the top parts are dependent on the function of the lower parts. Yeah, if we don't have food, we cannot have an industry. If we don't have an industry with production, it is really hard to have a service industry. For example, it's hard to be um, a mechanic if no one builds cars or no one constructs roads. And also, if we don't have uh, resources like um, ore or uh, gasoline, like oil, crude oil or something like that, we wouldn't have cars that run. And then you don't need a car mechanic or someone who sells you car insurance. So all these other industries, all these sectors of our economy are dependent on what is below in the pyramid. If that breaks away, if you take away something from the base level, all the other stuff on top of it comes tumbling down. But if you take something away from the top, the lower level things do not even realize that in many uh, instances. Of course in some they would because they also need services. But this is a secondary effect and um, our agriculture would not come to a complete halt if there were not a service industry for example. So one of the biggest problems that I see for many decades already in the western world is that we seem to have forgotten how essential some parts of our society are and that we can live very well without some parts that we deem to be so important. For example in companies people think that the human resources department is just as important as the factory floor. This is of course utter bullshit. Also theater and the arts is not as important for a society as a manufacturing industry or as agriculture. And I don't need to see the schedule of a Swedish uh, snow plowing service in order to understand that there is a problem in the Western world. Misallocation of funds and resources is not an academic problem. It is a very real problem that will cause a lot of trouble for us in the near future and it already does but it will get so much worse. Every company needs to be profitable. We need to make budgets and we need to plan ahead how much money we would uh, give to what department and until when they have to spend it and if this order breaks down then the company cannot work anymore. But the problem is in the first world where everything is provided, where the whole economy, where the whole society just runs smoothly all the time and there is no disruption and no shortage in anything and people grew up with that and they don't know it any other way. They don't 
no war time anymore. They don't know what hunger means or when you don't have shelter. They don't have any clue about these things. So when they see that everything works at the same time, they think that all these things are basically independent of each other and they just like the thing most that they enjoy the most. So maybe they think arts and culture is really important. But what if no one funds that? What if there is no tax revenue and people have other problems like how to feed themselves or where they should sleep at night? Then they wouldn't pay high taxes and they couldn't fund the theaters, for example. And our smooth running society is creating an illusion in the heads of many of our citizens that they would think that all these sectors of our society, of our economy, are equally important. Nothing could be further from the truth. And once our economy collapses, they will see that these things were not equally important. But until then, they will go on and believe that getting a fashionable haircut is just as essential, if not more important, than fixing our roads and our houses and our electric grid. And it is self-evident, of course, that it's mostly uh, liberal arts majoring women who are under this illusion that uh, their service or culture kind of uh, work or their employment would be just as important as mining, agriculture and production. They literally think that a guidance counselor is as important as a mathematics teacher or that a shrink would be as important as an electrical engineer. And many of them actually go that far that they think that some idiotic drama actors or some Hollywood actors or celebrities are more important than farmers and coal miners. But if this election in the US for example showed one thing, it is that not all people are convinced that this government cultural complex is as important as farmers, coal miners and factory workers. Alright, this is just something I needed to get off my chest. I hope you have a great day. Servus, Kameraden.